two-time Hall of Famer to Carlo DeVoe. And the Spartans, third in the conference. I said this twice because it's clever. The Spartans are third in the conference, taking on the third-ranked team in the nation today. <laughs> Nova Southeastern coming in 10-0 in conference play, 15-0 overall. The Spartans come in with a 7-3 record, 11-4 overall on the season. And DeCarlo, this is kind of a uh, one of those benchmark games because this Nova Southeastern team is averaging 90-plus points a game and winning games by about 20 points yes, a game. Um, big Big-time big game with big-time teams. Now, one, one more so historic success in the conference, and one is a, you know, Johnny Newcomer. However, they're having great success presently. These were the type of games, and not to turn it on myself, but these were the type of games that I wanted to play in, Jack. We'll get you the starting lineups for today's game and tell you a little bit more about each one of these teams as we get ready for this game. Unfortunately, the women's game, Nova Southeastern picked up a win there. The last time these two teams played, the Spartans lost 91-80, so kept it close. Our national anthem, then the starting lineups. So the Spartans will have their hands full in this game today. As I said, Nova Southeastern coming in averaging 92 points a game and giving up just 72 points a game. Starting lineups for today's game for Nova Southeastern. They will start number two. Nick Smith is a senior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Number 21 is Eddie Puisis, a 6'2 senior from Mason, Ohio. In the middle is number five, and that is Seiko Silla, a 6'5 junior from Brooklyn, New York. Number 12 is RJ Sunahara, a 6'8 sophomore from Bay Village, Ohio. And number 33 is Lucas Spidel, a 6'7 junior from Fredericksburg, Denmark. The Sharks are coached by Jim Crutchfield. Assistant coaches are Jordan Fee and Mike Chalice. And by the way, I got a chance to talk to Mike Chalice. Shout out and a thanks to Mike for filling me in on uh, everything going on with the game today. For the Tampa Spartans, they'll start number one. Pretty typical starting lineup will be Derek Felder, a 6'2 senior from Yonkers, New York. Max Jones, number two, a 6'2, a 6'5 freshman from Clearwater, Florida, Clearwater High School. Micah Brown is number five, a 6'4 junior from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Number zero for the Spartans is Martin Lakovic, a 6'7 senior from Serbia. And number 32 back in the lineup today is Tyson Lato, a 6'7 freshman from Chicago, Illinois. Lato missed the last game with an eye infection. Actually, it was an, uh, more of a cut eye that got infected and he wasn't even able to see out of it. It puffed up so much he couldn't see. Walked by him today, and he still had like a butterfly holding the cut together, but he said he's ready to go. Yeah, he was wearing shades. I, I, I thought he, <laughs> you know, I thought he was um, a boxer after a prize fight, <laughs> you know, to, to swell up the wounds, but yeah. um, turned out being a, an infection, and it's nice to see him back in the Spartans lineup because he was deeply missed last game. Well, I remember associate head coach Justin Pekka said the day after the game, 
he came walking into his uh, office with his shades on. He goes, "What's up, Hollywood?" And he took his <laughs> eye, he took his glasses off. He's like, "Oh, that's not good." <laughs> Max Jones will jump center. This is one of those games where Nova Southeastern presses up and down the floor. They want to put the pressure on you. They want to do it offensively and defensively. And off the tip, Nova Southeastern controls. Right. Pressure only works if you give into it. That's Nick Smith with the ball. Gets the pick from Silla. Jumper. Spidell missing. Rebound Felder. But even off a miss, they're looking to trap. And they threw it away. See, that's what it, that's what it is right there. That 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 mistake wasn't forced. It was it was created by the lack of handling the pressure. It was an easy pass. Martin Martin is one. He's a tough guy. So all he has to do is make the right pass, and we keep it going. There's another, another turnover, turnover, and a bucket still doesn't go. And Max uh, Lakovich with the rebound. But two turnovers in 30 seconds, not good. Micah Brown, Spartans right. on the board and the lead. Decent crowd here today for this game, and hope the Spartans give them a reason to keep cheering. That's Silla scoring. You got Sometimes you could push it up before they set up the pressure because they want to do it after a made basket. But off, off a defensive rebound, you got to push it up quickly. Don't allow them to set it up. We've talked about Max Jones leading the Spartans at 20, 20 almost 23 points a game, but Seiko Silla is leading the conference at 23.4. Rebound to Nick Smith. There's Silla, the drive off the, not off the glass, but Lato rebounds. And full court trapping press. Max Jones breaks it. Does he try to go all the way? He does, but turns it over. So the Spartans have three turnovers early in this game. Not a good sign early on. We got to calm that down. And blocking on the Spartans. And boy, Lakovich, or is that Max Jones? No, it's, it's That's Martin. Lakovich. Martin goes down. Slow to get up, and he will be charged with the foul. Unfortunate. He had the position, but I guess he, I think he was in his the body. Uh, and he was might have been the in the arc, too. Okay. I think he was pretty close to it. That's a, that's a key foul because he's a key contributor. Two minutes into the game, he picks up his first foul. That'll put Sunahara on the free throw line. And he is averaging 15 points a game. Second on the team. 6.8 rebounds. By the way, uh, Seiko Silla, 23 points a game. 9.5 rebounds. He's almost a walking double-double. Yeah, it seems so. He's left-handed also. And so that's good for us lefties. <laughs> <laughs> Full court pressure. Jones breaks it. Comes back out. Tries to find Lato, but another turnover. They may not have given the Spartans the turnover on that ball that was tipped out, so that'll be just the third, but it's still three and two minutes. Nova Southeastern four, Tampa three, two minutes into the game. Smith backs down Felder, cutting to Hara. And he scores. Little Princeton offense yeah, there. Yeah, too easy. Back cut. Over, got him on the overreaction, overplay. But we told you they'd press up and down. They do. They have five players averaging in double digits. They have seven players averaging nine and a half or more. Wow. When, <laughs> you, when, when you're scoring about 95 a game, you, you, there's a lot of room for opportunities to get points. Well, like you said earlier, <laughs> even if someone's averaging 30, there's still 70 points to divvy up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pressure handle well. Felder hands it to Martin. Martin on the back door, misses Max Jones, and another turnover. Right. Another unforced turnover. We got we to guard the, the ball like I, I tell kids that I train. Guard the ball like it's your girlfriend. Do you want it in the hands of another man? <laughs> 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 and they seem to get it. <laughs> I think one time you said guard like she's your girl, uh, the ball's your girlfriend. Not too tight that you scare her. Right. But tight enough so it scares other people off. It, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely ride with that. 
You said that a couple years ago. <laughs> Inbounding Smith. Jump shot. Good. 8-3. Spartans had a 3-0 lead. Now trail 8-3. Yeah, 8 unanswered. Yep. And a foul as Max Jones said, I'm taking the sideline. I've got you beat. And the foul is on Spidell. I'll tell you this. It's nice to see in the crowd several of um, the, the, the Coach Schmidt's players from yesteryear, Johnny Jones, M Mike Morris. Oh, Max Jones on the break, and he's going to dunk it. Yep. Brian Williams Sr., the yeah. father of Brian Williams the second, and also Roscoe Brown. Including, oh, the last my, time including you, myself, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the last time you mentioned Brian Williams Sr. was here. Oh, wow, Smith, deep water. Brian Williams had a huge day from the three-point line. Yes, he did. So let's hope that carries over. Micah Harvey with the ball. Again, though, pressured. And here comes the trap. Right. Finds Felder. And he traveled. See, a lot of these, these turnovers are unforced. And that's what this pressure does. It's not just getting the ball, but people rushing it because they're not patient against the pressure. 16.39 to go. 11-5. Nova Southeastern on top. We're, Tampa already is on the board for six turnovers. That's, that's, right now, they're on pace to have a turnover, over a turnover 40. per minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or more. Lato, good board, but knocked out of his hands out of bounds. Tampa will keep it. Boy, even when Lato gets the rebound, they don't concede that you have the ball. No, they're going after it like little piranhas on, on, <laughs> on a fish in water. On bone. To the corner. Jones. Across the timeline, but gets trapped as soon as he crosses. Finds Lakovic. Takes it down. And oh! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. I need a replay on that. Oh, that's it. Oh, but they come back answers. down and give up the points. Quickly out to Jones. Cross the timeline. Give it up. Lato. No, he has pump, to go stronger fake, than that. But he let that. him in. Just go up and dunk the ball. Pierre now in the lineup for Nova Southeastern. Three on the way. No good. Jones tips into the hands of Bush. Uh, off to the Micah Brown. I'll now, do you want Tampa to play the running game with Nova Southeastern? Well, you got to you got to know your strategically, right? In moments, Sunahara blocks it out of bounds. I'll tell you this: Martin Lakovich, who's won <laughs> never, never to have his effort questioned. What a, what a great individual athletic play on his part. This is the under-16 timeout, 13-7. to 7. Keep it here because I wanted to mention, we mentioned last game, Max Jones. Max Jones for the Spartans was named to the Bevo Francis watch list, which is the best player in small college basketball, which is D2 down, so D2, D3, right. NAIA, and so on. And he's one of the top 100 in the country nominated for the list. I'll cut it to 50 in a couple weeks. Well, Nova Southeastern has three players on this watch list. Wow. And you're seeing them all have an impact so far. Nick Smith, the point guard. R.J. Sunahara, who just blocked the shot right. and also had a nice layup. And Seiko Silla, who's the leading scorer in the conference. They are all on the watch list. So Wow. I'll tell you this, RJ, um, he plays a, a very, I could see, not not super athletic, but he plays a, a, a heady, rhythmic type game where he, 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 he doesn't force anything. He doesn't try to do things that he knows that he can't, which is good to know yourself. The other thing that's scary about the Nova Southeastern roster is they have 13 players on it. Nine of them are freshmen or sophomores. So that means the, the future, future is still looks bright. bright. Yes. Got to wear shades. <laughs> Felder with the ball for Tampa. Micah Brown. Jonathan Bryant, the second in the lineup. He has the ball. Three on the way. Like that. 
That's a good sign that he hit his first shot. Brian Williams also in as the Spartans not afraid to rotate a couple of the guards. Really no drop off. Pierre answers. 16-10. Here's the full court pressure. They get it to Brown. Back to Brian Williams. And they, they boy, they come trapping from all angles. Right. Way to handle the pressure, Brian. That's all you have to do. Just be composed and dribble or pass it up. Spartans with really a four-guard offense. So Bryant, I guess, could be considered a forward. And Lato. Brown looking to drive. Too much dribbling. Yeah. Right. Good Felder pass. for three. Good. good shot. That's a good sign when Derek Felder steps in and hits one. Right. 16-13. We know he got honored as the conference defensive player of the week, but um, now his offense is starting to come on, which will be greatly needed. You know, after he got honored as the conference player of the week, he set a career high in scoring. Wow. The next game we did. <laughs> so I said, hey, you got to look both sides of the court. Amen. <laughs> Felder with three. At the moment, the Spartans have distributed the scoring well. Felder, Brown with three. And Lokovic and Jones with two. And Bryant with three. Three players with three, two with two. Bryant looks to drive. Fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming. Into the lineup is Hunter for Nova Southeastern. That's Shane Hunter, a sophomore from Parkland, Florida. St. Thomas Aquinas High School. Bryant will go to the free throw line for Tampa. St. Thomas Aquinas, that's where Michael Irvin, the great um, oh. University of, of Miami and Dallas Cowboy receiver, he went there, the Bosa brothers. Yeah. Both Nick and Joey, um, San Diego Chargers, well, L.A. Chargers, sorry, yep. and San Francisco 49ers, <laughs> respectively. Both went to Ohio State. Jonathan Bryant, well, before I could mention it, he missed the free throw. I was going to say 78% from the line. Well, that percentage just dropped. <laughs> Didn't plummet, just dropped. <laughs> right. Because he'll come back here. Yeah, he makes this one. He helps maintain it. And he hits it. 16-14. Spartans offering a little full court pressure. A little bit of resistance, but they the, break it. The bully doesn't like to be bullied. <laughs> you know, so the, the, the team that presses doesn't like to be pressed. Silla misses it, and Felder comes out. Finds Williams. Off the glass. Too far. Rebound Jonathan Bryant. Back up and won't go. Silla with the board. We got to capitalize on those type of opportunities, especially after the offensive rebound. Two point blank shots. Didn't fall. Hunter travels. Nothing called. Thought he changed pivot feet. I tell you this. Your thoughts were right on point. Out of bounds. Not called. And I'm not trying to be a homer, but I saw him step on the black part. Yeah. <laughs> and eight of the Spartans on the bench saw it, too. <laughs> so. And a turnover. Now they get it back. Boy, they just scrap at everything. It's, 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 you know what it's like? it's like? It's like flies and gnats when you're eating your food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, they're always buzzing. You're always swatting, trying to shoo them away. But they're always there. <laughs> <laughs> always swatting. Right. Even when you think they're gone. You need some, some, some raid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Williams hits there, 18-16. Oh! Pass too long. Derek Felder, though, had it hit his hand to go out of bounds, so it'll stay. Right, he had a Nova gift. Southeastern ball. He yeah. had a gift. He yep. was thinking what he was going to do with it before he actually maintained the possession. Martin Lakovich back in. Tyson Lato out. Also into the Nova Southeastern lineup is Puises. And Over the back. Boy, Max Jones was blocking out as Spidell went over him. And I think they're calling Max for wrapping his arms around him. Hmm. His first. Wow. Smith, quick jumper, no good, and he got fouled on the jumper. They've ran this out of bounds play twice. before, right? Yeah, at least twice. And 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 scored jumpers from it. So it's time for UT to recognize what's going on, and and neutralize it. 
Smith inbounds the ball low and then just steps in bounds right. and gets a return pass for the jumper. Short on the free throw. As a team, they're 75% from the line, which is really good. Referees with a whistle before the second shot. Here's a telling statistic. Turnovers this year. Nova Southeastern has 107 coming into this game. Their opponents, 214. Oh, wow. Two to one. Two to one on turnovers. Wow. That's also good for your assist ratio. <laughs> yeah. 19-16. Williams. Or that's DeAndre Harvey trying to create right. space. Now that's the second time the Spartans have gone up the sideline and gotten the call. What, they, what you can't do, even as you're directing your teammates, you can't watch that trap converge on you. You, you, got, you, got, to, you got to attack it right away. Just go at it and force right. them you, to make a move? You have to. Spidell picked up the foul. He'll come out. That's his second eight minutes into the game. And he's their big man in the middle. Though Shane Hunter, who's been in the lineup, is 6'10", Spidell 6'7". That's DeAndre Harvey with the ball. Says, settle down, let's run something now. That's Brian Williams. Lokovic keeps it, top of the key. Finds nice drive, Micah Brown, but he traveled on the run. Wow. That explains how he got so open. We made, made it to the under-12 timeout, 11.45 to go. 19-16, Nova Southeastern on top. We'll step out. This is Spartan Basketball on Tampa Spartans TV. down eventually. Wow. So that's something to watch here. Back. 11.45 to go, 19.16. To call I was saying, I watched video of these guys against St. Leo, and they were it was a one-point game at halftime, but then Nova Southeastern ended up winning by 20-plus. And the one thing that doesn't happen often to these guys is they trail in games. Right. What, 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 I'm, what I was saying also, in addition to that, you got to bully the bully. Mm -hmm. You know, my neighborhood growing up, you always had some kid that thought they were the best on the court. However hard they went at you, you had to go that hard at them back. And, and, and there, you, you're usually, when you're the usual aggressor, the usual suspect at, at aggressor, you're not used to people being that way with you, and it gets you off kilter. Foul called on Tampa, but, you know, basically, if you can get a lead on them, maybe they're uncomfortable with having to play need to up. score a basket right. to get back into a right. game. They're, they're used to front running. Foul was called on Micah Brown for the Spartans, his first. Backing off of the three was Puises. Now he drives, lays it up and in with the left hand. Puises was going to get the shot. There's a steal. They get it back. Spartans cut him off, and I think he traveled trying to find a place to go with it. Luckily, we got it. Well, we didn't get it back. It was given back to us. Tampa already with eight turnovers, and I'm not sure if that one, that probably should be one. But also, that's just the first on Nova Southeastern. Got a three on two going Harvey back. Harvey to Brown. He pulls it back, though. I, I'll tell you this. 
like I say, not to turn the attention to myself, but on the three-on-two coming that way, I'm going to the basket, and I'm getting a foul or a dunk or both. I'm, I'm, I'm putting... I'm putting that pressure on that defense, and as I say that, good shot by John Bryant. Yep, and that's his second three-pointer. Seven points on the day. Two for two from deep. Moore rattles out. Spartans down two, chance to tie. I guess I'm also obligated to say, or take the lead. Right. <laughs> Lakovich can't get it, got his own rebound. Out to Harvey, from the corner. Good, the Spartans lead. Yes. That's why I was supposed to say, or take the lead. <laughs> Good shot. Martin got his own missed shot back. Oh, Oasis wow. from deep. I tell you this. Wow. Michael Brown has his hands full today on, the, on that guy, because that guy looks like he has the green light. In fact, he has the incredible Hulk green light to do what he has to do on the offensive end. They are a 39% free throw or three-point team. And if you do the math, if you shoot 33% on threes, and he's fouled, that's a foul on Scylla. If you shoot 33% on threes, it's the same as shooting 50% right. inside the arc. Where Eddie Priestess is concerned, Micah Brown, you have to attack him. You have to get him in foul trouble. Get him out of the game. Get him off his, out of his comfort zone. Because if he doesn't have to guard you on the other end, he's going to kill you on the offensive end. No, Puisis only about 35% on threes, 38% on threes. That's, that's close that's still to 40, good. yeah. Yep. But you have to get him all, uh, out of his rhythm. That's what it is. Right now he's in a good rhythm. He's, he's shooting open shots. He's not being challenged hard enough. Jonathan Bryant missing that free throw. I tell you, the one referee with the ball right now may be the tallest person on the court. Yeah, I walked by him before the game. He's he's look, tall. Looks about what <laughs> six 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 seven. Somewhere in that range, yeah. Looks like he could post up a few people too. <laughs> Maybe he did back in his heyday. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, ho hopefully he was a good player and he could call the game as such. <laughs> Spartans within one now. Smith, boy, yeah. they just do not hesitate. Right, because ha as Mar Jackson says, the point guard that is. Hands down, man down. You have to have a hand mirroring that ball. Because you're there, it doesn't mean you have defensive pressure on your opponent. Air ball from Felder. Smith already with nine points. Drives the lane and a foul on the way in. Right. With, without a hand up, you can't challenge the shot. So the guy, if he has a foot of space, he can shoot right over the top So even of if you. you're guarding him fairly closely... You're not guarding him up. I, I, I did it all the time, Jack. Yeah. I did it all the time. If you did not mirror the ball on me, I, I had enough leg strength that I didn't have to take a deep knee bend. Mm -hmm. I just had to take about a, a four, you know, three to four inch squat and, and get my and shot up off. before they react. That's it. Yep. Because their hands are down. You got to mirror. You, you, you got to mirror the ball. It's defense one on one. Micah Harvey out. Brian Williams back in for Tampa. Rattles that one. Back to a four-point lead. And back to the trap in the corner. Lakovich quickly up court. Derek Felder, one step, and it goes right. in and scores. And got fouled. One thing against this trap also. Where they want us to catch the ball is in that corner so they can set the trap. We have to start pass. We have to stop passing it in the corner and pass it more in the center of the court because from a corner you only have one way out. Yep, that is the second on Silla. He averages twenty three. Sunahara averages seventeen. Mm. Got to finish that off. Twenty eight, twenty five. That's, that's a charge. That's, that's his third. Yep. He's going to have to come out. The leading scorer in the conference picks up three within 11 minutes. And Sunahara, the fifth leading scorer in the conference, already has two. 
And what a heads-up play by Brian Williams the second. What a heads-up play. Way to sacrifice your body for the team, young man. So a couple interesting turn of events with fouls fairly early in this game. But I'll tell you this. You mentioned that these this team had a bunch of players almost at 10 points yes. on average. Seven. So they have a deep <laughs> they have a deep bench. And um, don't think your day is over because you got two <laughs> starters in yeah. foul trouble. Yep. Harvey. Almost has it tipped away. Shot clock to seven. Lakovich. Free throw line. Back out. Three on the shot clock. Felder fades away and hits. Good shot. With the Derek sec- having a good game from the floor. Yeah, with the second on the shot clock. He now has seven. He's three of four from the field. That's that a- might be. Ooh. No, he was, Harvey wasn't in position. He, yeah. was, he was there, but he, he didn't have the right positioning. As that was Pierre driving on him, but the foul is called on Harvey. This is the under eight timeout. We are just under eight, 7.59 to go. Tampa down one. We'll step out and come right back on Tampa Spartans.tv. Martha do. 28-27, 7.59 to go. Tampa hanging tight. Nova Southeastern to inbound. They tried to run that inbounds play again. Didn't get it away. Inside, back out, back inside. Three seconds. Yeah, he was camped. He had sprouted roots before they (laughs) called that one. Yes, he did. That is Shane Hunter, 6'10", from, as we said, from Parkland, Florida. He's the tallest player out there. I tell you this, when I, when I got on the court against a tall guy like that, my, my goal was to try to finish above the rim on their head. Yeah. <laughs> Lakovich tipped. Spartans recover, then lose it. Another turnover. That's Hunter running the floor, and they... As Al McGuire would say, get it out of the hands of the aircraft carrier <laughs> until you need to get it deep. <laughs> Don't let them guide you down the court. Right. <laughs> Go to them when you want to land. <laughs> Felder, the foul called as a couple players went toppling to the ground. And I think Lakovich might go to the line. That will be the seventh foul. And I think the foul might be on Nick Smith. I tell you this, Martin, man, and all his hustling and, and tough play, he finds himself on the floor a lot. A lot. And whether he's the recipient or the giver of a blow. I mean, I think he's got to, uh, he probably ices down every game and then gets heating pads after that. You know, I, I don't know if they if they um, have this type of watch in, in um, Serbia, but I'm going to call him Timex because he takes a <laughs> looking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> I know, I hope people in Serbia are watching. I don't know if there's any way you could send us a... Twitter or anything, a tweet of any right. kind? Right. Well, I know he has some um, some people that come to the game that are of Serbian descent. Okay. So they, they come to the game. I don't see, um, I think he's a, like in media, like radio or okay. like some, can't re- recall the guy's name, but um, he, he's been to several games. Well, you so know, far if, if people want to tweet at us and tell us where they're watching from, send to my Twitter account, which is Jack 
Ike Says. J-A-C-K-E-I-C-H-S-A-Y-S. Jack Ike Says. Feel free to tweet and tell us where you're watching. Amen. See if you're warmer than here. Puisis missing this time, but Smith gets the rebound. He misses, goes out of bounds, but they control it back to Smith. He's going to put up the jumper, misses, falls down. I think he was looking for a call. Lakovich quickly up court. Harvey lobs it. Williams kicked out of bounds. Spartans get it back. That's Felder. He loses the ball. Harvey's the pass hit the rim. Brian Williams was trying to, he called for the alley-oop. It was wide open, up in the air, ready to dunk it in. But Harvey's pass, unfortunately, hit the rim. I need another highlight, Jack. That was more traveled on that one. And back into the game is Pierre. This has just been frantic, but kind of uh, out of control. Friend. Yeah, but as long as Tampa has the lead, I'll take it. If this would have takes to get Nova Southeastern off their, you know, off their normal scheme of things yeah. and, and rattled, yep. I'm, I'm for it. Got to play ugly sometimes. You don't get style points. Nope. Unle uh, unle unless this you're is, a model. That's about it. This is not gymnastics. <laughs> right. <laughs> Felder to Williams. Backs it up. Looks at the three on the way. Oh. It looked like it had a chance to go in. Come on, Brian. Didn't. We said your dad's here. That means you're hot. <laughs> Smith pounding the dribble. Goes outside. Lato back in the lineup. Soon a hard at the corner. That's Pierre. Guarded closely by Harvey. He almost double dribbled. Yeah. Shot clock under 10. That's Smith looking for a pick from Sunahara. Drives, pops it back outside, driving the lane, and a foul going to be called on Martin. I think that's his second. That's the seventh team foul on Tampa, so even though the ball was out on the floor, it'll send Spidell to the line. One and one for this one till the tenth team foul. And rolls it home. Tie game. This free throw, if it goes in, can break the tie. Missed it. Lato with the big rebound. This is a game where Tyson Lato will find out how physical this conference is. Right. I'll tell you this. Max Jones has been on the bench for, for a while, so yeah. ho ho hopefully we'll get him back pretty soon. Skip pass. Brian Williams deep. Won't go. Lato tips it out of bounds. Boy, Brian Williams' shots have looked close. Yeah, I mean, they, they look on. Yeah. They've been... And I guess that's okay because he's, they look on, but they've been a little long. Right, but what's different from being left or right? What you have to do, though, uh, 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 this is basketball, so sometimes you can shoot a, what, what feels and looks like a good shot, and still you may miss. That. So he just has to keep, you know, shooting good shots. Right. And, it, and law, by law percentages, some will fall. Just a little adjustment, maybe a little more arc. Right. So it doesn't go as long. Sunahara will go to the line, the foul. It was on Jonathan Bryant, his first, Spartans eighth. Sunahara hits there. He has seven now. I tell you this, there was a lot of ball on on that um, on that block attempt by John Bryant, and um, but nevertheless, the referee bailed him out. Misses, no, got a favorable bounce and knocked it home. So they are seven of ten from the line. Sunahara now with nine. Right, he does he does things quietly, man. He's like a stat sheet stuffer, and then at the end of the <laughs> game, you're like, how did he have 20 points? Yeah. Bryant looks, finds Williams. Good. Oh, oh good Tried idea. to get into Bryant and just tipped away. Good reaction by the defense. Traveled. Traveled. I think Lato kind of took pulled the chair out from under him there. Yep. And Sunahara was looking to lean in. And when he didn't have that body contact, he forced to travel. Cross.
Across the timeline comes Harvey to Williams. Bryant, top of the key, eyes the three. Looks strong, and it was. He kind of rushed that one. He was, he was anxious to get it off. Pierre, long three. Ripping the rebound is Spidell. Nice job by Leto to block that, or yes, alter good, it anyway. Good block. Felder. As Leto develops on the offensive end, he's going to be a force in this conference. Yeah, he's, he, he gives you an effort and not afraid to bang the boards. Not afraid to set a pick out deep. Shot clock to five. Harvey with the fadeaway. Got it. Tied at 31. Nice mid-range shot. Harvey I, now with five. And I'll tell you this, this, this pace right now suits Tampa. This is not a 95-point game pace. So, But like you said, the second half of the game against St. Leo, you said but they, they just But that exploded. was like 49-48. I mean, that was a right. much higher score. This is, but then you said the second half they oh, came they just, out. Yeah, and, just wore right. him down, and so it's a, it's always a tale of two halves. Felder to Harvey, he comes back out. Ten on the shot clock. Felder unloads from deep, no good. Lato fights for it into the hand of Williams, pump fake, and he lost it out, tipped away from him. Land of the Giants does a little too much there. Smith out by the logo. Spidell, boy, showing some deep range for a 6'7 kid who posts up most of the time. His, th his fourth point, he had just a free throw before then. Yeah. Five point lead now, six point run. He, he's, he's, he's exemplary. Wow. Smith picks the pocket. And scores. Jumped into the passing lane. Yeah. He saw that coming all the way. But what you have to do is read the defender. Yep, you and I saw it. Harvey to Bryant. Two have minutes to go in the here. half. Bryant off the glass. And charge. Good call that time. Bryant went up outside the arc. And this is, I believe, the under four timeout. Yeah, it is. It's the under four timeout. 157 left. 38 31 now in favor of Nova Southeastern over Tampa on Tampa Spartans.tv. One fifty-seven to go. Tampa had a 31-30 lead, now trail 38-31. This Tampa this with 13 turnovers to just six. Nova Southeastern forcing their opponents into about 15 a game, more than double what they'd give up. Pierre trying to back down, comes back out. Smith directs traffic. Gets a pick from Sunahara. Look to give and go. Find Sunahara. Free throw line. He bumps into Leto off the glass. No good. Boy, Pierre reaching over Harvey. Should be a foul on Pierre. He's like, hey, that's, I can reach over as long as I don't foul. And are they calling it on Harvey? 
that should be play what? on at best. Wow. He said he ra oh wow. That's what they called uh, earlier on uh, I think Bryant. Said he wrapped or his Felder. hands around yeah. him. He he didn't touch him. No. That's twice they've called that where they signaled wrapped they, him around. They called one on Max also. Yeah. Automatic with the 10th foul, two shots. And Pierre knocks it down. He now has nine. All right, take that back. He hit them both. He has five. Thought it was an eight. It was a three. That's not a, I don't, maybe, is that a new <laughs> rule? Never really, I haven't that? seen that this yeah. year. Not that it's inappropriate, but I've never seen them call the wraparound. Travel. Travel. Boy, Brian Williams just got a little excited about the room ahead of him and got a run. Spartans now have given up 10 straight. So this is what you didn't want to have happen just before the end of the half. Puises drives tipped and that's goaltending. It'll come back. Sunahara didn't let the ball come off the rim. And Harvey calls a timeout. We'll keep it here. Take a look at some of the stats. Tampa already with 14 turnovers. Points off turnovers, 12-7 for Nova Southeastern. Rebounds today, 15-14. Actually, not a lot of rebounds to this point in time. Tampa's 11 for 21, 52%. Nova Southeastern is 13 of 31. They've taken 10 more shots. Both teams are 5 for 11 from deep, but free throws are the difference right now as Nova Southeastern has made 9. Tampa has made 4. Tampa winning on bench points. 15 to 6. Coming out of this timeout, Tampa has to have a play that executes and hopefully gets the ball to go through the net because they've been on a, a sc scoring drought for the past several minutes. <laughs> Felder with the ball. Finds Jonathan Bryant. Pulls up. Won't go. Williams fights for it, gets the rebound, off the glass, fouled. Had a great opportunity for an and one play, but um, yep. nevertheless, he, he'll get two free throws. Sixty-eight percent free throw shooter, knocks it down. Jake Harris. Getting ready to come in for Tampa. Williams hits them both, and I think he's coming in for Brian Williams. Jake Harris, sophomore from Ackworth, Georgia. Probably a Bulldog fan, and congratulations <laughs> to them finally beating the Alabama Crimson Tide. Smith drives. Sunahara off the glass. And, and one. Wow. That call, it, it almost looked like a play on, yeah. maybe, but nevertheless, the referee called the foul. Sunahara to the line. He has 10, 11. Smith leading with 13. And the lead is 10 with 38 seconds to go in the half. Williams kicks it out. Bryant, no. Rebound, Pierre. They can hold it for the final shot, and Smith will just trot it up court. 
It would have been nice to see John Bryant finish off that, that, that pass with that three from the corner. And nevertheless, it was a good setup, good shot. Ten to go. Now he starts moving. Guarded by Felder. To the corner. Pierre deep. No good. Tampa gets the rebound. Bryant with... Got to shoot it. Seconds to go. Miss. We've reached the half, and Nova Southeastern has stretched out the lead after trailing 31-30. They lead 43-33 at the half. We'll step out. We'll come back and just before the start of the second half and get you all the updated stats. 43-33, Nova Southeastern leads Tampa. We'll be right back on tampaspartans.tv.
Welcome back to the University of Tampa. Tampa Spartans taking on Nova Southeastern Sharks. Men's basketball, it is 43-33. Nova Southeastern on top at the half. Stats for the half, Pierre has five for Nova Southeastern. Smith leading with 13. Sunahara has 11. Puis is seven. Spidell, four. Moore, one. Silla with two. Leading scorer in the conference, but he went out with two fouls early in the game. And Hunter has not scored. They are shooting 41% from the floor, 41, almost 42% on threes, and 77% on free throw line. For the Spartans, Felder has seven, Williams four, Bryant has eight, Lakovich four, Jones two, though he went out early and didn't come back. Brown has three, and Harvey has five. The Spartans are shooting 47.8%, shooting well, but turnovers have been the key so far. 41.7 from deep. They're both 5 for 12, both teams, from three-point line. And the Spartans are 6 for 9. But as I said, Spartans are shooting almost 50% from the floor. But they have 17, uh, where is it here? Where'd it go? 14 turnovers to yeah. 6. That's 14 less possessions. And um, and we can't, that's, that, and that's, see, that's, that's how Nova eats. Yeah. That's what helps them get get to the dinner table more than their opponents when you give them more meals yeah. by giving them the ball. <laughs> yeah. Jack Ike to Carla DeVoe. We get ready for the second half. Martin Lokovich will inbound for Tampa. Also out there is Felder, Max Jones, Micah Brown, and Tyson Lato, the original starters. Puisis, who did not start on the floor for Nova Southeastern. Nick Smith. And Silla also out there. There's a zone this time. Sunahara. Jones, jumper, no good. Rebound is to Silla. Seku Silla, the leading scorer in the conference at 23 plus, has two. But as you mentioned to Carlo, when you have seven players close to double digits, there's some people to pick up the slack. Right. Now I tell you this, he, he there's nothing he does as fancy or flashy. He's just a model of, of, of good work and consistency. Because I, I can say this, um I've I've seen more talented players mm -hmm. despite him scoring twenty three, but he's he's just a hard worker. He's trying to post up now. Puisis who had a good half drives and right. scores. I tell you this, Puisis is he looks to be one of their more talented players, if not the most talented player on their roster. He is one of the ones at 10-plus points a game off the bench. Right, but this game, is he's, he's having a coming-out party. Well, he has nine now, almost to his average. Nice drive, Max Jones. Max now with just four, but had limited time in the first half. He's the second-leading scorer in the conference. They are both have a combined total of six points today. They average 45 combined. Wow. Smith just walks into everybody. Nothing called. Spidell hits the three. Yeah, Spidell is just a typical Euro big man, you know, that could step out and shoot the ball. Lato gets the pass and lays it in. And Sunahara kind of looks back like, hey, who picks him up when he gets runs the court like that. Lato's first bucket of the day cuts the lead back to nine. It's good to trade buckets when you're leading, but we got to get some stops and scores. Smith misses. Felder rebounds. Sunahara chasing him. Now calls off the dogs there, and Felder drives, puts it up, and in. Derek Felder says, hey, let's make a comeback. I'll, I'll show you the way. Yeah, that's that's just his skill and his will. A couple players go down. Foul called before Smith puts it back. And let's see if it's on Silla or not. Silla may have been the recipient of the foul. Well, I'll tell you this. That foul call, though the player may not want it, but it kept them from getting an easy, easy yeah, bucket. Did. Now we can set our defense. Foul was on Felder, his second. Smith inbounds. Quickly back to Puisis. To Sunahara. Silla in the lane. 
Back out to Sunahara. Jump fake, drives the lane, blocked. Spartans Lato has it, but I think they called a foul on the first shot attempt. Let's see, because Lato had the board, then the whistle. But it's going to be on Tampa. We'll put Sunahara at the free throw line. I'll tell you this. I, I, would, I would prefer that he blow the whistle when it happens instead of waiting to see what happens and yeah. then calling a foul because it doesn't appear to be much of anything. We get the rebound, and then there, here comes a whistle. It may not have been that long, but I, I noticed Lato had the rebound. Sunahara hits that one for his 12th. Misses that one, and Lato with a nice board. Lead stays eight. Here comes Lakovic. Back out to Felder. <clears throat> Off the pick. He's going to try to drive the lane. Lays it up and in, and he is just right. trying to will the Spartans back yeah. into this game. Good job. I I mentioned to him a, a little while ago during this conference, you know, you got some young guards, young players, that he's going to have to step up and, and take more of a leadership role on both ends. Lobs to Sunahara. Dodges a couple of players and lays it in. Nice lob inside. He has 14 now. Just about to his average. Max Jones. Felder eyes the three. Good. Good pass and good setup by Max. Cut to five with 16.20 to go. Polices looking to drive. Lato stops him. Sunahara from deep, and he wow. hits. Like I said, it's better to trade buckets when you're leading, yeah. not when you're down. you got to get some stops. Max has an opening, drives the lane, blocked, goes out of bounds. It'll be Tampa ball. And we've reached the exact 16-minute mark, which is the... Under 16 timeout. <laughs> I guess it's 16 and under. They always right. say under 16. 16 and under timeout. We'll step out. You're watching this game on Tampa Spartans. TV. I don't want to. Spartans right. down eight, 16 minutes to go in the game. Number three in the nation, Nova Southeastern. Spartans are third in the conference at seven and three. Nova is at nine and zero. Oh. They had their game. There's another turnover, but no, Hammer gets it back. Close. Martin Lakovic as he normally is, Johnny on the spot. And there's Martin right there. Oh, tipped at the last second. Last points Martin scored were tremendous points. That was a big dunk. Yes, but it hasn't was. scored since then. Yeah, I know. We gotta we gotta keep him going. But he's only taken two shots. Two free throws and the dunk. He'll now go to the line, see if he can add a point at a time here. And there's one. One thing with Martin that I hope a lot of these other players catch is his I hope his fearlessness becomes infectious and his hustle also and his free throw shooting today <laughs> <laughs> he's four for four from the line for a 50% shooter I shouldn't have mentioned it but I did lead down to six Sunahara drives knocks Jones to the or knock Martin to the ground kind of looks at the ref and says play on yeah, Suna, Sunahara is just a model of consistency. Nothing fancy, nothing overly athletic. He has he 19 just, now. Yes. Felder drives, but stopped by Puisis. Two-man game. Close. Smith almost in the passing lane. Max Jones delivers to Lato, puts it up, tips it up, and take it away. And 
Lato got hit in the eye, which is already in bad shape, and they may have to call a timeout here if they can. He's rubbing his eye, finally comes back, and he at least get to the stoppage of play. Unfortunately, Smith with the drive. 58-48. Lato should have just fouled him to stop the play. Martin back out, goes into Lato. Double teamed and loses it. That's and a layup by Puisis. So the Spartans made a run, got it to six, but now back to 12. Off the turnover and a timeout finally called by Richard Schmidt. Sixty forty-eight. Let's take a break too, right here on TampaSpartans.tv. athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports learn more at ncaa.org slash opportunity college sports there's light at the end of the tunnel a return to normal and all we love about sports you've instilled resilience focus and selflessness in us we've put those lessons to work we've found strength and unity in each other you continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. So when we look forward, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us. And, and for all of us. 60-48. Tampa trailing now. They were down six a minute 40 ago. But a couple... Untimely turnovers led to some points. Jonathan Bryant in now. He has the ball. Gets it to Max Jones. Top of the key. Crawls up. Won't go. Quickly down court. Silla in the lane. Puts up the lefty layup off the glass and in. Like I said, nothing fancy, just a model of consistency and, and, and hard work. Just his fourth point. Felder kicks it out, saved. Jones, deep three, short. He looks like he's laboring. Yeah. He's had some physical problems. Yeah, back spasms are, are tough. It cut Tracy McGrady's career short in the NBA. Felder has some room and got fouled on the way in by Sunahara. That'll be his first. See, I don't think Sunahara's had a lot of pressure put on him on the defensive end. And, and, and like I said, you have to occupy a guy like that that wants to score. You have to occupy him. You have to make him a, a defender. You know, get him off his roll. One of two from the line. That ends the 8-0 run. But the lead down to just is still double digits at 13. Smith. Finds Spidell, bounces it into Silla. Trying to back down Lakovic in the lane, left-handed. And over the back is Silla. Right, we're, That'll be foul four. Yep. we got to remember, we have the number three team in the, in the nation on our home court. Yep. And if that isn't enough to get you motivated and get you playing hard and smartly, I don't know what is. Now, one thing Nova Southeastern has not done in the second half is we haven't seen that trap as much. Nope. Now they are putting it on. Pierre into the lineup as Silla will sit with four. Lakovic looking. And Lakovic. <laughs> Got it. 
Lakovic had no choice but to bounce it off the no southeastern player. Unfortunately, I think he got him in the family jewels. <laughs> I don't think it was done intentionally. No, he, he was trying to, to get him, a recount, but, um, but it was an ill-advised pass. Yeah, Pierre looks to be, um, I, I don't want to say shaken up, but he, he looks. He's staying in. No, they're going to sub. No, they aren't subbing for him, but he said, let's put somebody else on the ball. Right. <laughs> This is, this is why some athletes back in the day used to wear cups, especially where football was concerned yes, yes. as a protector. Yeah, unfortunately, he took a shot there and a steal. There's Pierre back out, driving Spidell, and he rolls it in. Another turnover. Unforced. Yes. 16-point lead, biggest of the game. Or 15, I should say. And make it another turnover. Puisis up court. That pass should have been thrown to the inside yeah. where Max was concerned, and it was thrown to the outside. Sunahara with the charge. Bumps into Brian Williams, who just came in. Well, we said this in the women's game. By the way, the women lost today. They're at kind of this point now where you've got to make the move. Jonathan Bryant inside, turn around, lays it up too hard. Spartans just not getting the favorable rim play today. Spidell hits it. Wow. 17-point lead. And this is where we mentioned that second half being so important and coming out early and establishing your, your dominance in which Nova is doing on the UT Spartans' home floor. They are now 7 of 16 from deep and a turnover. And a layup. Sunahara has 21 and the lead is 19. This, unfortunately, is what Nova Southeastern does. They just wear you out. And this is all with the leading scorer in the conference and for Nova this Southeastern. Be, don't know if it'll be listed as a turnover, but Lakovic gets a, a blocking foul. And we've made it to the under-12 timeout. 11-18 to go in the game. 68-49 Nova Southeastern on top of Tampa. In NCAA Division II, student-athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student-athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student-athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. division Is ballooned at 19 for Nova Southeastern. Spartans have Brian Williams, Derek Felder, Martin Lakovich, Max Jones, Tyson Lato on the floor. Smith crossed the timeline. Sunahara. Poises and a ra almost a rare steal, but it's going to stay with Nova Southeastern. Sometimes a, a part of being good is just your <laughs> ball control, keeping the possession, not, not turning it over, not giving it away. 
and that allows the team to be more consistent than their opponent. <coughs> and Smith can't find anyone to hand it, inbound it to, so he calls a timeout. Because at this point, with almost the last quarter of the game to be played, Nova Southeastern is still in single digits with seven turnovers. Yeah, Spartans with 19 now. You know, this half, if you look at the half, the Spartans are 6 for 12, 50%. You go, hey, nice job. Well, 6 of 12, whereas Nova Southeastern is 11 of 16. So Whoa. five more baskets and shooting at 69% from the floor. And I'm sure some of those baskets have come off turnovers. Points off turnovers, 18 to 7 now. So pretty much a point for every turnover. The lead is 19, points off turnovers. The difference is 18 is what Nova Southeastern has, so. Right. Smith up top. Tries to get by Felder, tipped away by Felder. Max Jones pushes it up court. That was good defense. Drives the lane, finds Lato. Lato fakes, up, blocked, fouled. That was a nice setup by Max. And, and, I, and I must say this, I must compliment the, the young man's will because I know he, he's noticeably in some discomfort yeah, it's not, from his back. Not, root, but, not running smoothly. Right, but he, he's still in there um, playing, using his, his will actually over his skill, but he's still able to exemplify his ball handling and, and, his, and his offensive prowess. 68-50 as Lato knocks that down. Lato now with three points. That one rattles out. Pierre with the rebound. I'll tell you this, Pierre got the rebound, but he, he, he also pushed Martin Lakovich in the chest pretty obviously with his left hand. Smith directs traffic. I think he's a lefty. I haven't seen the shot. He prefers to ball handle with his left hand. Smith, that is? Yeah. I don't. I've, usually they stand out if they're lefties. Pierre, no good. Shot clock, but they get the rebound. Puisis with their offensive rebound. To the corner. That's Spidell. This one he misses. Got his own rebound. Kicks it back out to Pierre. Police has traveled, Travel. trying to get his steps. Good call Puisis, by the ref. Police has thought this looks way too easy. Oh, yep, it is. <laughs> but again, they had a couple offensive rebounds. Full court pressure. Lakovic to inbound to Max Jones. You had two players move to the same, same area, spot, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that was by design. I, I doubt it. Max tries to drive off the glass, won't go. Lato tips. Lato gets go it back again. Up strong. Back up. Again blocked. They're making it tough on him. Yeah, Sunahara is 6'8". Is mm -hmm. You know, from his style of play, he may not appear to be 6'8", but he's still 6'8". Yeah. And long. He's slender, yeah. Felder. Harvey took a few steps, missed the shot. Lato with the rebound. Out to Jones, three on the way. Snapped it off, front of the rim, out of bounds. It just looks like it's a lot of labor for Max to get it from the three-point line up. Yeah, that shot was, was, was pretty flat. You know, it was online, but it was just a little flat. He didn't have enough lift like he normally does. And I'll tell you this, um, lower back pain, that's, that's part of your core, whether it's abdominal or, or lower back. And it's hard. You, you know, your center of gravity is off. Um, it hurts. You're, you're laboring. And, and it's, it's really hard to do anything uh, effectively because everything is you don't want to go too hard because you don't want to make anything worse. Yep. But if you don't go hard enough, then you're not able to do anything successfully. Inside the Lato, he lost it for a second, goes outside. Finally gets it to Harvey. He tries to find a spot, 
Fade away, good. Tough shot, he manufactured that one. Poises, tell you, Poises and Smith are almost like carbon copies on the floor. Yeah, they are, they look, they look like twins. <laughs> Spidell with the ball fake, steps out. For being 6'7", he doesn't like to play inside much. There's Poises, and he just keeps knocking them down. I think his range is 25 feet and in. I thought he had more three-pointers. That's just his second of five, but he's 6 of 11 from the floor today. Felder, short, airballed it into Pierre's hands. Quickly up court. Spidell lobs it to Sinahari. Sinahari could not hit the dunk. Felder slaloms his way through. Into Max Jones, and he gets fouled and won. Spidell with three fouls now. Right now, the Spartans have one player in double digits which is Felder with 17. Yep. Meanwhile, Nova Southeastern has four players in double digits. Well, as we said, they have five who average double digits, right. seven who are at nine and a half or more. And the leading scorer in the conference and for the Nova Southeastern Sharks, Silla only has four, four points. And he's on the bench. Right. Felder with the foul. But they're still <laughs> nursing a 16-point lead, so that shows that they have a pretty complete team across the board. We're at the under eight timeout. It's a 16 point Nova Southeastern lead over Tampa. This is Spartan basketball on tampaspartans.tv. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? The end of the tunnel. A return to normal and all we love about sports. You've instilled resilience, focus, and selflessness in us. We've put those lessons to work. We've found strength and unity in each other. You continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. So when we look forward, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us. And, and for college sports. Nine. So they're, yeah, they're on pace. 71.55, 7.52 to go. We're just trying to do some math, which I know can set history back a long time if we try to do this but <laughs> we think they're on a pace to get to their average of 92 points a game I brought the abacus but I couldn't quite work it did you ever use an abacus <laughs> I, I've, I've seen them <laughs> I, looked at, I looked at that and I'm like I hope they invent calculators pretty soon. Right. Well, I'll tell you this, and, um, and sundials. Yeah. <laughs> Harvey, floater in the lane. Got it. It's a good shot. Nine for DeAndre. Puises up top. Look at Smith kind of hiding outside just in case. They kind of like clear out and let a player have whatever room he needs. Wow, Harvey got rolled over by Sunahara, but he scored anyway. 23 for him. I think they just said, hey, don't. Just because he bumped you doesn't mean you have to go down. And they tried to get to Max Jones. And you know, that was one where normally that play would work, but I think Max just couldn't reach down. No. Just couldn't bend. Yeah, you, when your center of gravity is is messed up like that, it, it's um, it, it's hard to move. It's hard to be agile, and and um, at a, a at such a young age, at 19 years old, I hope that this problem gets solved 
and it, it doesn't plague him yeah. throughout the rest of yeah. his collegiate well, career. Well, you know, the good thing, I think, is the Spartans don't play till next Saturday. So he'll have a week of, if they can do some sort of treatment. Yeah, to rest and stretch and... Whatever they have to do, cold, hot, whatever. Yeah, get him Spidell prepared. with that, massage, something like that. 19-point lead again, six and a half left in the game. Lakovich to Williams, or Har DeAndre Harvey won't go. And to the ground, and a travel's called. Good challenge by Tyson Lato on the, on the rebound to, to force the travel by Spidell. Tampa will inbound. Harvey to inbound. Looks, looks, threw it away. That's that's um a big miscue, and at this stage in the in the season, miscues like that shouldn't shouldn't really be taking place on the court. Well, Lado made a fake, and Harvey didn't think he was faking it, so he threw it where he thought he was going. Right. They faked each other out. Yeah. <laughs> Smith, Silla, in and out, tipped out though. Smith re, Smith has it. Now who gets the rebound on that? The guy who tipped it or Smith? Sometimes they give it to. It depends on the statistician because sometimes they'll give it to the person that tipped it out because they figured it was controlled. Yeah. So they would consider it a rebound. I mean, every missed shot has to have a rebounder, a right. rebound, unless it goes out of bounds. So somebody, one of the two got credit for that one. I'm thinking the tip because he did the work. True. <laughs> but I don't write the rules. Steal by the Spartans. Harvey looks to drive, comes back out. Finds a cutting Brian Williams for the layup. Manufacturing some points. That's his sixth of the day. Spartans probably going to run out of time, even if they make a run here. Silla, Lado off the glass and in. Strong left. Silla now with just six, playing with four fouls. Sat for a lot of this game. And another turnover. Just turnover after turnover in this game. Because yeah, we can't Silla. keep giving it up like that. That's number 22. See, I'll tell you this. If this was the meal money that they were given at Christmas, I bet they'd guard it with their lives. <laughs> but, but, I mean, you have to treat the ball with, with great importance in this, in this game. You know, if, if, if the sport was to give the ball away, then that would be great. <laughs> we would, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's possess the ball. Right. Boy, Spidell missing there. Kicked out of bounds. It will be, you know, as Puisis, I should say, miss. Yeah. Martin with the rebound. He was off balance. Can't call a timeout in the air, so he improvised and knocked it off a Nova player. Well, the last time Good he knocked it play. off a Nova player, he took the player down. <laughs> yeah. He, he, uh, he, I don't think he aimed and intentionally <laughs> did it, but he hit him in the, in the family jewels. <laughs> this time he spares any... Uh, problems and goes off an ankle but you know what he has a court presence yes you know he definitely has a court presence and there's martin with the ball and look at how they just swarm this time though they got puisis with the foul that'll be his fourth actually they called it on spidell but still his fourth Lakovich, just six on the day. Seven now. This is, I hope I don't jinx him, but this is the best I've seen him shoot free throws all season. Well, he's five for five, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make that did, six of six. You did not jinx him. 
Though the fact is, he's a 51% shooter. Hopefully he can carry this out through the rest of the season. Not to be perfect, but just well, shooting we, at a high percentage. We both percentage. noted that his, his form is very good. Yes. And Spidell loves that mid-range jumper. Yes, he does. He has 15. 80-61. When you can catch it in rhythm, you, you're, you know, you're up double digits, and it's, there's no pressure on the shot. You just go right up and knock it down. Williams. Tulakovic, pump fake, off the glass, smart play, and got it in. The one thing Martin is capable of doing there is when he jumped, they had a hand in his face, and while in the air, he was able to redirect his shot for an opening. Yeah, Mar Martin is a good athlete. He's an exceptional yeah. athlete. I, sometimes I think he's starting to really realize how good of an athlete he is. DeAndre Harvey got hit down there and just immediately has run off the court. You can see him behind the Spartan bench now. He's, must, he's possibly bleeding. Bleeding or got hit in the mouth. I hope it isn't anything that drastic, but he did go I'll off immediately, this. ran behind the scorer's table as soon as he got right. hit. Right. As I was telling you and Andre earlier in between games, I, I told you guys I fell on the floor at midcourt and dislocated my finger, my my. My pinky finger on my left hand, which you guys can see, yeah, my yeah. knuckle is pregnant. Well, that's ugly. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and and just so I didn't have to come out of the game, I didn't report the injury. I popped it in myself, Oof. which probably wasn't smart, but I just I just wanted to play. I didn't want to come out of the game because I, I felt like I may miss something. You, I, must, you, know. you were a candidate for the NHL, if that's your attitude. <laughs> Man. Well, that's my, my younger brother. Take it up and go. My younger brother, Andre, he actually came up in the Maple Leafs um, yeah. organization. <laughs> yes. Andre DeVoe. You could Google it. He's he's the only first and only Bahamian-born from Freeport, Grand Bahama, NHL player. Nice. Yes. That's a Jeopardy question. I always joke with him. <laughs> <laughs> Spartans with a couple, three substitutions here now as they bring in number four, and that is Caleb Carnes, a junior from Clearwater Beach. They bring Jake Harris back in, the sophomore from Georgia. And Zach Simpson, a junior from Providence, Rhode Island, into the lineup. Brian Williams still in, Martin Lakovich still in for the Spartans. And there's Brian Williams. There's Carnes, or Simpson I should say. This is coach just letting some of the young guys who work hard in practice get some game time in a crucial game. Williams hits. But what he did, he left uh, Martin as an as a emotional and leader on the court to, to help stabilize this young lineup. Brian Williams up to nine points with that basket. Jim Crutchfield does not have a deep bench. He's got five players, it looks like, maybe six on the bench, and his three of them have not gotten in, but he has not subbed yet. Almost a steal by Williams. Smith, in and out, tipped out of bounds. It'll be Tampa ball. Well, with two minutes and tw 22 seconds, it doesn't look like Nova will get to 90. Nope. I was thinking 85, but that hasn't happened yet. Pick it up, boys. There you go. That's Caleb Carnes, Lakovich, Harris on the cut, back out to Martin, he keeps control, and just lays it in. Right. So I guess a, a moral victory will be holding them below their average. Yep. That time Martin gave Sunahara a little bit of what he's given to Tampa, just backed him down and knocked him down. So what does Sunahara do? Comes right back at you and scores. He has 25. <clears throat> Told you, a guy like that, you got to make him a defender because he wants to score. Top of the key, Lakovic, short. Not really his forte, but he will hit the occasional three. He Spidell, rebound, Jake Harris. Quickly up to Brian Williams. He Attack. pulls it out. 
Attack. Jake Harris, jumper, free throw line, good. Yep. That's Jake Harris' skill set, is a good shooter. Yes, he is. But I think what, he's got to put a little more bulk on to get out there and muscle people around to get more playing time. His year may be next year. And the jumper is good by Silla. Brian Williams on the drive, blocked out of bounds, and he goes to the floor. Was he not fouled? Um, I, I think, think they said the hand was on the ball or something. I think Stevie Wonder could have saw that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Jose Feliciano is on the referee crew today. <laughs> Bounce it inside to Martin. He finally gets it. Triple teamed. Goes out to Williams. Deep three. Good. Rattles that one home. That takes him and into a, double digits. And a quick timeout as Brian Williams ups his way to 12. Second Spartan in double digits. Or Lakovich actually already there. So third Spartan in double digits. 37.6 to go. The lead is 11. Richard Schmidt, one last play to see if get a steal. All of a sudden, maybe you can influence something. Yeah, you want to close out games. No matter if you're leading or not, you want to close out games right and take that momentum into the next game, something to build up off of. Well, once this game's over, I'll be heading out to dinner. A friend of mine who uh, we grew up doing television with up in Wisconsin who now lives down here. He and okay. I are going to meet and go out. Yeah, that, that, that should be nice. And m myself, I just want to make mention to the former Spartans player that are in the crowd, John Jones, Mike Morris, Roscoe Brown, Brian Williams Sr., um, you know, who's here to support his son. And also his, his um, Brian Williams II, his mom is also here, Donna. So um, thank, thank you guys for coming to this game and, and showing your, your Spartan pride and your support. Little press in the backcourt, get a turnover, see if he can make something happen. They inbound it quickly, get it to Smith, and he lobs it up to Puises. Knocked into the backcourt, and it's over and back. That's what they call. Puises says they knocked it off my hand. Shouldn't be over and back, but he does not win the argument. See, I think they said that they knocked it out of his hand, but it hit his hand on the way right. across. Now, remember what I told you earlier, that bullies don't like to be bullied? <laughs> yes. So teams that apply pressure don't like to be pressured. And look at, look at what we what happened in this moment. Even though it, it's hard to come back from an 11-point lead with only 29.8 seconds left, but that little bit of pressure we applied got us a turnover. Brian Williams cuts it to nine. Right, quick hit. And a quick timeout by Tampa. Keep that pressure going. I, I, I think we're deep enough to where we, could, we can do what Nova does, I think, from a basketball standpoint. Run people in. Um, yeah. Use them. You know, pr apply pressure. Apply pressure. And these guys that are in the game now, we don't normally see them yeah. on a regular basis. Harris, Carnes. But if they can be used now, they can be used in other moments to help apply pressure to teams and that way you get full contribution preserve some of the bodies of everybody you know as you go throughout the season and and and, and bury people because i see um num num number 20 simpson he he's you know he it's he working. comes to play he, he has his hard hat on his his work books his dickies work outfit um <laughs> <laughs> he's he comes to play yeah <laughs> inbounding still looking they get it inbound Quickly handed off to Smith. He's harassed in the backcourt. He has to call a timeout. It works. So the bench players are making it tough on Nova Southeastern right now. And it's the philosophy, the, the scheme of things of, is changing. But we, keep, we don't have to do this out of desperation. We could do this all throughout games and, 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 and put people in bad positions. You know, keep people off balance. Get them out of, your com get them out of their comfort zones 
and, and keep us as the, the aggressor and in control. Remember a while ago I asked people to send me tweets from where yes. they're from? I got none. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Zip nada. Right. Well, maybe let's, <laughs> let's just say none yet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you still got time. <laughs> got none. The day's not over. <laughs> <laughs> Though yesterday I did have one guy up in Wisconsin who knows everything about high school sports and, well, and Illinois sports, too, tweeted me a picture, the team picture of my high school basketball team. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you this, uh, with Scylla in the game right now as your leading scorer, leading scorer in the conference. Almost a steal. Um, I don't, I, he, there's no need for him to really be on the court. I mean, an extra two points. Okay, he got fouled, he'll be at the free throw line, but extra two points doesn't do you the team any, any no. good. Somebody else can do that. But you, you want your, your, your key player to preserve more so his health. Yeah, you, you know? don't want a, something freak. Right. Happening. Twisted ankle or, or anything like that at this point. They lob it into him. He's in the backcourt. They don't have to shoot. Ten on the game clock. They're going to probably end this game with an 84-75 win. One second. And the ball game. So Nova Southeastern, I'd say, shows why they're ranked number three in the country. Had a 19-point lead on Tampa. Tampa cut it to nine, but that's as close as they would get down the stretch. 84-75 the final today. Right. Quick recap of the scoring. Smith, 16 points. That's right about his average. Silla with eight. Leading score in the conference, but sat for a lot of the game with early foul trouble. Sunahara with 25. He's around 16 a game. Puis is 14. He's about a 10 a game. And Spidell at 15. He's normally around nine a game. Pierre then had five. Moore had one to round out the scoring. They end up shooting 47.8 for the day. Eight of 19 from three, 42%, and 12 of 17 from the three from the free throw line. For the Spartans, Martin Lakovich with 12 to go with eight rebounds. Jake Harris had two. Brian Williams, 14. A lot of them in the last 10 minutes. He had three rebounds. Felder with 17 and four boards. Max Jones, we mentioned with some back problems, had seven. Micah Brown had three. DeAndre Harvey, nine. Jonathan Bryant had eight. And Tyson Lato, three points and eight rebounds. That's a little more than he usually gets, and it's good to see that he was getting physical with him on right. the eighth. Spartan shot well, 52% from the floor, 36% from three, and 72% from deep. The problem was the Spartans just had way too many turnovers, 22 on the game. Yeah. All right, so the Spartans now fall to 11-5, and 7-4 and four in conference play. Nova Southeastern runs its record up to 16-0 and 10-0 and and in conference play. Next for the Spartans, next Saturday they have this week off, and they will be at Lynn. Our next game is February 5th when Embry-Riddle comes to town. So for DeCarlo DeVoe and Andre running the board, Thanks for joining us. You've been watching this game on TampaSpartans.tv.